Hello guys and welcome to another Fisher 360 video and I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video I'm going to show you how to program a part like this as a cutout and also it has uh, it has chamfers on the inside. As you can see here, let me put it on top of you. All right. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. Um, let me um, let me right click and delete setup. So I'm going to start from scratch. Okay. So I'm going to create a new setup. And my Z axis is going to be this uh, top face. My Y axis is going to be this edge. And I have stock, uh, stock box point selected. And my box point is going to be right here. And I'm going to flip the y, uh, uh, y axis arrow by clicking on it or I can just I can just uh, click on this box right here where it says uh, flip Y axis. Okay. And this is where my WCS is going to be. Okay. Uh, this is for uh, Home Mac and Wiki uh, CNC machines. Okay. So I have the model selected. So where it says body. And I'm going to skip stock because I'm not adding any material. So I'm going to go to post process. And I'm going to name. I'm going to name the program, um, let's say, uh, uh, inner uh, underscore chamfers. Okay. And I'm not going to write any comment. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. So I'm going to click OK. That's my setup. Now um, I'm going to use a, a 2D contour. To do the cutout, okay. So I'm gonna go to uh, the 2D menu. I'm gonna select 2D contour. I'm gonna select my tool. I'm gonna go to the wiki um, CNC wood flat emails, and I'm gonna select a nine millimeter uh, compression tool, which is four six right here four six three sixty seven dash k. So I'm going to select it. I got all my fees and speed set up. Okay. I'm going to go to um, geometry tab. And I'm assuming I'm going to select um, this uh, the bottom uh, edge right here. I'm going to go to the heist tab. I'm cutting all the way through, so I'm going to type uh, minus one millimeter. Next tab is the, it's the passes tab, and I'm going to change my outer corner mode to uh, keep sharp corner. Okay. Uh, sometimes it creates some arcs here when you post process uh, the program and you open it up. up and you see some uh, arcs here. So I just want, I just want sharp corners, okay? So it's gonna create less lines of G-code, not by much, okay? Um, and I'm gonna add a step down. So I'm gonna check multiple depths. And my maximum roughing step down is 5.4 millimeters. This is, uh, this is 65% of tool diameter. Let me check. I'm going to click on three on three dots. Actually, it's a tool diameter times 60. So it's 60% of tool diameter. Uh, so that's the expression that I'm using. Okay. Uh, finishing step down is the same. Let me scroll down. And I'm going to uncheck uh, rough final. I'm going to uncheck order by islands. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use smoothing. I know in some other uh, some previous videos I used smoothing, but it doesn't really make a difference because this is just um, th um, this is um, a rectangular part. So um, I'm just going in straight, straight left, straight down, straight up. So I'm not machining any. Uh, this part doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any circles, doesn't have any arcs, it, uh, doesn't have any splines. So um, those kinds of things. Okay. So I don't. Um, for 2D uh, milling, 2.5D milling, um, 
I'm not gonna use uh, smoothing. So smoothing is like when you when you're doing 3D, you want it uh, minimize the lines um, the lines of cheat code. So uh, that's for that. So it's gonna be unchecked. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the linking tab. I will save this in 6.4 millimeters. See, it's red because it's higher. It's higher than the feet height. Okay. So I usually use one millimeter. Type one, and I have a leading and lead out check, so I'm not going to use this. I'm going to check both leading and lead out. And I'm going to use a ramp. Uh, it's going to be 15 degrees, and my ramp clearance height. Uh, I use one millimeter. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. Okay, so um, let me right click. It's not a toolpath that I want, so I'm gonna um, click edit. I'm gonna go to linking tab and I'm gonna type zero. Click OK. okay this is what I want, all right? So right click simulate. So it's gonna rep, it's gonna rep in, play it. There's a cutout. Okay. Next, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use a 90 degree uh, vip bit to do the chain first. Okay. But you saw in the simulation uh, the two paths was, was a little different. I was doing it was doing a ramp in and ramp and ramp out because I was cleaning this, I was getting these clean edges. Uh, I don't want to see this big radius. I'll show you what I mean. So um, uh, let me. Um, Right click and duplicate this two path. Okay, I'm gonna select the second one. Right click, uh, edit. I'm gonna go to a uh, tool. I'm gonna go to a Siki, uh, excuse me, wiki chain for engraving. I'm gonna select this, uh, this guy right here. And uh, on the geometry, I'm gonna click on the X. Actually, no. Uh, I'm gonna reselect it, okay? Sorry about that. And on the high tab, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bottom height, I'm gonna type zero. And on the passes tab, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uncheck chamfer, I'm not using that. On the linking tab, uh, I'm gonna uncheck ramp, I'm gonna click okay. Let me right click simulate this tool path. Let me simulate the, the setup. So right click, uh, simulate. Okay, there's a 2D contour. Um, it's gonna do the cutout. It's just gonna do the chamfer. Do the 90 degree uh, vip bit. Okay. You see it's leaving this big uh, radius. On each corner, you see that. So I don't want that. So I want I want this. I don't want I don't want to see this uh, big radius on in every single corner. You see that. So 2D contour is not a um, it's not the machining operation that you're going to use for this. So I want to show which one it is. Okay. So um, let me um, exit. So it's under a 2D menu actually. So and that uh, operation is going to be trace. See that it says machines along contours with varying Z values and with or without left and right side compensation. Okay, so I'm going to use this trace. All right. So what I can do is. Uh, I'm gonna select uh, the second 2D contour, the 90 degree vip bit. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to create the rib operation 2D milling. I wanna go down to, uh, where are you? Trace right here, okay. And I'm gonna go to geometry. I'm gonna click on the X, okay. 
So I'm going to select this. Uh, I'm going to have to select uh, these lines right here. So I'm going to hold down, actually, all four lines. Okay. So I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to select this edge. Oops. Actually, Alt. Sorry about that. Alt. I'm going to hold down Alt. Select that line. This one. I'm going to rotate the model. Select this one, this one. I'm going to rotate the model. I'm still holding Alt, okay? And I'm going to select this line, this line, I'm going to rotate the model. I'm going to select this one, rotate the model. I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to go to Passes. I'm going to skip um, High Step. And I'm going to check uh, Multiple Depths. And I'm not make, I'm not going to make any changes here, so I'm going to go to um, linking tab and let me click OK. There's a tool path. Okay, so I'm going to select the trace. I'm going to drag it up right here. Okay, so that's going to be my second operation. Okay, so I'm doing a 2D contour, a cutout, and a trace. Okay, I'm not going to delete this one. You'll see why. Okay, it's 2D contour right here. So let me select 2D contour, the first one, and I'm gonna hold down shift and select trace. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna simulate. I gotta get a new mouse, guys. <laughs> okay, this mouse, um, this, the one that I have kind of old, it came with the computer. So I gotta get a new one. Uh, so let me um, play this. See, it's doing the cutout. Let me slow it down a bit. Okay. I'm gonna slow it down to uh, do a tool change. Okay, there's the 90 degree bit bit. It's gonna ramp here. See, it's ramping, ramping out, ramping in. See, uh, I'm not, I'm not having those big radiuses. See what it's doing, ramping in, ramping out. That is great. Okay, so um, you see, it's leaving some material here. Okay, so I want to clean that up. Okay, let me zoom in. See right here. So it's leaving material, a little bit of material on each corner. So, and I'm gonna exit simulation. So I'm gonna use the last one, the 2D contour with the 90 degree vivid, okay? And I'm gonna see. I have the the bottom the bottom uh, contours or lines selected. So I'm just gonna right click at it. I'm gonna skip geometry because I have to, uh, I have to select. I'm not doing anything here. This is what I want, right? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to height tab under bottom height. Um, I want to bring the bit down just a little bit uh, to clean up the edges. So I'm gonna I'm gonna type I'm gonna go down half a millimeter, maybe a little less. I'm gonna type uh, minus 0 0.3. I'm gonna click OK and then it's, uh, simulate setup. Right click simulate. I'll speed it up. Do a tool change. Okay, and then we we'll slow down. Can we we'll go back here on my timeline? I'm gonna click right there. I'm gonna play it, and it's gonna see it's uh, see it's plunging down. Okay. There's still some material there, so I'm gonna have to increase. Uh, the bottom height. So let me hit escape. I'm gonna go back to it, right click edit. And I'm gonna bring this up to um, a half a millimeter. Click OK. Right click simulate. Okay, and there you have it. See? 
see it's cleaning this up right here. Okay. I'm gonna put it on top of you so you can see that better, okay? And I'm gonna turn off the tool, I'm gonna check on this box. Okay. Uh, just in case there's some material here after you machine apart like this, I have to bring the bit down just a little bit more, okay? You're still gonna maintain uh, the 90 degree uh, chamfer, okay? So your chamfers are not gonna get messed up, okay? See that? So uh, let me turn the tool back on. I'm gonna hit escape to exit. I'm gonna post process this program, okay? I'm gonna open it up in group 5.0 and group 8.0. Okay, so let me right click, uh, post process. And yeah, I have a uh, uh, post process in millimeters. I have, I have another one inches that I'm working on. It's not perfect. So uh, right now I'm using the metric uh, post processor. Okay, uh, that's the right folder, unit, not inches, millimeters. And I'm gonna post it. Okay, NC code successfully posted. Let me go to WAP 5.0 first. File open and go to the Fusion 360 to WAP CNC programs, tutorials folder, and there it is. Look at that, looks nice. See these lines right here? Okay, that's the trace uh, tool path. So it's doing the cutout, right? And it's gonna do a tool change, and it's gonna do a trace. Okay, so this is fee seven meters per minute, eighteen thousand RPM. So I have uh, four routing macros for trace. Okay, and the last macro is gonna be the the cleaning tool path. Okay, that's the same uh, ninety degree vipid. And there, uh, there it is, okay. Now let me go to WUBA 8.0. And I'm gonna open this program here, file open. Same folders. Uh, okay, uh, where's the program? Okay, I think I'm in the right drive. Uh, I'll drive um, that folder. Okay, where's the program here? Okay, let me go back to the C drive. I think it's here. Four. Oops, let me go back. Uh, was it here? I, I missed. Oh, right here. Sorry about that, guys. Oops. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> so let me uh, file open. I picked the wrong program. So it was here. I just uh, I just missed it. I didn't see it actually. Um, so um, open. So I was in right. I was in the right drive. And there's a program group up uh, eight point zero. Okay. Reset view. Is the isometric view. See that? Very nice. Top, top view, okay. Okay, let me go back to Fusion 360. I want to try something that, that uh, I haven't tried with the chamfer. So um, I don't really use this um, this operation that much, okay, but it's good to know how to use it just in case you get a part like this. Okay, so um, let me select Trace. Instead of using the last one to do the cleanup, I want to see if I can bring that um, this, um, bit down half a millimeter to do the cleanup as well okay so right click um edit passes tab but you see i don't have a bottom height okay you see that see there's no bottom height so you cannot you cannot bring the bit down um to do a cleanup pass or to do the cleaning Okay, so um, so there's no bottom height here, so um, that's why I'm using the 2D contour. Okay, the last one. 
as a cleanup has, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you about trays. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future contents. And I just want to say one more thing before I end this video. Uh, I'm really thankful for having uh, a little over 200 subscribers. So I never, I never thought I was going to get this many subscribers, uh, especially for um, this channel that's really small. And it's only being targeted to a certain audience. Um, people using Home Mac and Wiki, Sing Sing Shin, and WAP, and want to use Fusion 360 or are using Fusion 360, okay? So I'm really thankful, all right, guys, for subscribing to the channel. Um, so as this for this video, um, have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.